Kuma Ivan, Mary, Hi Mara, Kumbali, Kuma Kuma Ivan, she put a pop on she head and gone. performance accurately captured the coalition government's vision of a cohesive nation. It featured all of Guyana's cultural and religious festivals portraying the melting pot that defines the country's unique diversity. Director of Culture Tamika Boswin said the cultural piece is somewhat different from Guyana's previous presentations at Carifesta, as it combines drama, dance and music to present a colorful and beautiful cohesive piece. I think it will, it will blow people away, especially Guyanese who live in Trinidad. It is a good way of bringing Ghana back to them, bring, evoking some memories and the response is always good. We had an awesome response in Barbados and this is a just a different twist to the Guyan night so we know we'll surprise people. It was disclosed that the rehearsals for the various drama, dance and music presentations for Carifesta began weeks ago, but rehearsals for the Guyana night performance, which will feature the entire delegation, began on Sunday, July 14th. Esther Amer, creative director for the Guyana Night presentation, said that this new direction taken by the Department of Culture is one she applause, as it helps to bring together the beauty and diversity of Guyana. I thought about Keon's poem and building around Keon's poem. said, hey, this is a great opportunity to let everybody blend. So not just to make it a really cohesive performance, but also to make people respect one another as performers and entertainers. This year's theme for Carifesta is Connect, Share, Invest, which the organizer says focuses on both the tangible and intangible aspects of Guyana's cultural heritage and development and seeks to embody and facilitate the objectives of Carifesta 14. Guyana's contingent is expected to leave on August 15th and return on the 26th. Neola Damon, InfoHub.